At least we can say 2020 has been kind to gamers as we had plenty to shout about here in the gaming world and in the retro gaming world. Now you're saying retro gaming? Surely that's a thing of the past? And yes it is, but it is also very much present in 2020 because right here, I'll show you guys, there's a little package from Bitmap Bureau and they have very kindly reached out to me to send me the brand new Mega Drive, um, the, the, the PAL, the Japanese, the Dreamcast, the CD, and like Xeno Crisis um, hardcore package going on here. So I'm going to be unboxing them. I've had them for a couple of days and I'm dying to get stuck into them. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay in this video because this is also available on PS4 as well. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that as we progress. In fact, let's start it now. What is Xeno Crisis? Xeno Crisis is a new top-down arena shooter for up to two players of Magical Couch Co-op that is best described as Smash TV meets Aliens. Run and gun your way through thousands of enemies spread over six areas as you attempt to discover the cause of the alien menace. What is it available on? I hear you ask. It is available for the Neo Geo, the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, Dreamcast, Switch, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac and Linux. So let's have a butcher then. Let's have, it says here CD. So they, when they reached out to me, I had no idea that they were going to be like sending me all this. So massive, huge shout out to that Bureau. And if you want to go and kind of check out their, their game, their products, I will link everything below. I make no money from sales, but this was all sent to me for free. My reactions and what I say are in, like my opinions, my own. So this is me. Oh, what? So we've got 21, 21 tracks here from the game. Um, and I'll show you a little list as we kind of look in. We've got some really cool art. Um, hang on, if I could select my video, that would help. Um, there we go. Intro, title, perimeter, area, facility, etc., etc. The artwork is there. And of course, the absolute gnarly, um, very 90s looking artwork. Now, is it me or does that look like Jill Valentine? That definitely looks like Jill Valentine right there. Um, so the CD, I'm looking forward to having a butchers at that. Um, oh, I'm excited. This is Dreamcast Pal. So yes, 2020, we have a new Dreamcast game. Now, last year, uh, Tangled was developed on original Sega Mega Drive hardware and release to the public and Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood are having a combined cartridge release for the Evercade. That's how I came across this game. Whoa, check that. Oh, wait a sec. What is this? Also, what is this? We've got a little postcard in here. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, wow. So I'll show you guys close-ups, but a little postcard, which again, I'm going to show you. And then it's like a CD case um, size of the Dreamcast release of Xeno Crisis. So take a look at this, guys. We've got the card right here. Um, very, again, very reminiscent of the artwork that is portrayed right here. So we've got Bitmap Bureau down the side. Oh, wow. This is some immense nostalgia. Immense no nostalgia. Absolutely beautiful. Really pleased. <laughs> I've been so, so excited to unbox this with you. So excited. Now this is Dreamcast um, the Japan. So again, if you're kind of in that region and you're looking for something new, maybe this will be a thing. So I'm guessing the box art's going to be really different. Oh wow, yes it is. It is very slightly different and I love that. <gasps> Whoa, that is lovely. I'm going to keep that sealed. That is beautiful. I actually prefer how the characters pop that little bit more. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and you tell me if you prefer PAL or Dreamcast. Um, so, I'll just tilt it up there. Uh, sorry, PAL or Japanese. Get your words out. So this is obviously the Japanese. Um, the characters are a little bit closer to the edge compared to the PAL, which as you can see, there's kind of more of a board and it says Bitmap Bureau across the top. Oh my goodness. They are things of beauty. And again, I didn't expect <laughs> to get all the different regions. 
That is stunning. That is really, really nice. That is, oh, and I love at the back it says like v, uh, VMU compatible, arcade stick compatible, um, keyboard compatible, all of which I have. So that's a massive thumbs up. Now, right here we have Mega Drive Pal. Now, you know, cartridges are where it's at for my taste in retro gaming. I mean, I love all kinds of retro gaming, but you know, kind of growing up in the bulk of the 8 and 16 bit period. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh, to, ooh, just to feel, just to feel a brand new Mega Drive game in 2020. Oh, that just, I mean, it's so shiny. It's so nice. Oh my God. Look at this. The freshness of the cart when it pops right out of the Mega Drive case. It actually looks as well. I can see through there. This is a reversible cover. This is a river. Oh, no way, that is so clever what they've done. I'll show you that in a minute. And then manual, wait for it. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is a color manual as well. This is absolutely immense. Now I've heard that the control scheme is quite difficult on the Sega Mega Drive because it does, it's like a dual stick um, shooter. So obviously you just have the D-pad, um, but it, again, this is available on PS4 and I think I'll be streaming it on the PS4. So that is gorgeous. Let me show you guys what we've got in here. And this is how I knew um, there was kind of like double artwork there. So we've got the manual, which we'll take a little look at. If I can just pop that out. And then you can see the sprites in here just looks stunning. And you can use a three and six button controller um, and it does, the, the mapping can be a bit of a fiddle, but once you've mastered it, I'm led to believe it's really good from there. What? Equipment. And then obviously you've got the cartridge itself. So that is really nice. And then in terms of the kind of flip case, so this is the front, this is the kind of classic grid based um, Sega Mega Drive kind of cartridge there we'll just use molly as a bit of a prop and then inside i'll show you guys it's the um kind of later variant really if you would check it out oh so darn good i mean i love it when indie developers really do put time passion and energy into their products it just make it like fills my soul with joy and then next up we have the japanese variants um, so I'm interested to see what the box art is Ugh. with this one compared to PAL. Again, it just looks so much nicer. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look inside. Oh, and of course, yes. The little more, the more kind of rounded edges. That is so, so nostalgic. I'm bursting with, with energy right now. So I'll show you the artwork in comparison. I'll kind of have to put them up like this. So we've got two, brand, so you can see the two brand new um, games of Xeno Crisis. Obviously, PAL on the left, Japanese on the right. Um, let's go spines. Oh, nostalgia goosebumps. And then back, kind of looks like a Xenomorph right there. And obviously, this is the classic grid based layout of early Sega Mega Drive games and obviously there it says Bitmap Bureau. So, woo, that's it, it's exciting, it's exciting. And then we also have a vinyl. So this is like the icing on the cake, really. This is the icing on the cake in terms of, ooh, look at that. Just look at that. How nice does that look? That is just beautiful. And it definitely looks like Jill Valentine, 100%. Um, I don't even want to take it out. That is absolutely stunning. What an amazing package. And again, just a massive thank you to Bitmap Bureau for sending this out. I think now we know what Xeno Crisis is. Now we've had a look at what the guys have sent me. Let's dive in to some gameplay and please note for the for the pure purposes of um, ease with the controls, I've chosen to capture the footage on the PlayStation 4. Let's roll it. 
And here we are, Xeno Crisis. We're about to try a brand new Mega Drive game on juicy original Mega Drive hardware. That's until I couldn't find my S video cable. So I switched to the Retron 5, as seen here, upscaling in beautiful HDMI. Let's take a look. So I think so far, this looks pretty darn nice. And immediately when you kind of jump in, I went straight to the options and went straight for easy. And I really like that color shift between the kind of bluey green across to the reds. We get a selection of two Marines, one of which looks like Jill Valentine, I must say. And then you kind of dropped into the first area. Again, very reminiscent of Aliens. Absolutely love that little touch. It's almost like when the, um, is it the Saluco drops down? with the marines and aliens and everybody first kind of disembarks and away you go so you're kind of in this first area and I will say this if you're playing on Mega Drive I played on a six button controller I knew that going in because this is a dual stick shooter so what I mean by that is if you were to play it on a PS4 you would use the left and right analog stick and whatever direction you're shooting in is the di uh, sorry whatever direction you're facing is the direction you are shooting So a six button controller to me made perfect sense as the kind of the first four buttons of the six act as a D-pad. So essentially your second or right analog stick. It takes a little bit of getting used to as you may be able to decipher from my meandering through the levels that sometimes I'm pointing in the complete different way. So do be mindful if you do buy this for the Sega Mega Drive, you're gonna have to really brush up on your motor skills to actually get everything aligned but once you master it it feels very fluid and compared to the ps4 version the mega drive version for me seemed a lot easier because this game overall is very punishing even on easy i died so many times to the point where i wimped out and i had to put the cheat on for infinite continues i didn't it didn't kind of allow me to compete with the final boss on the playstation 4 but it was still tough even with infinite continues it does get absolutely crazy with enemies which is amazing with no slowdown fortunately what i've noticed um, but it's a phenomenal game and I would advise you guys to continue to watch this and definitely show Bitmap Bureau some love with some Xeno Crisis. Now, in terms of visuals and in particular, the color palettes, what I really enjoyed is, for example, you see the little arrows there that signify you need to move on to a new room. I love that kind of bright popping color palette and the, even the enemies with their kind of pinks and purples and that kind of shimmer of white giving enemies that glow. It looks really nice amidst the levels, which are typically a lot of gray kind of dull colors. And I just think the color palette works beautifully with the bright neon just kind of flashing on the screen from time to time. I absolutely adore this game. I did pay for it on the PlayStation 4. If you do want to bag, bag it on there, you're looking at $14.99. This is, I am not paid to say any of this. These are all my own opinions. Um, and if I didn't think this game was, wasn't worth it, I wouldn't have bought it. And I certainly wouldn't be recommending it here in the video today. Now, this is the first boss, Shima. I believe there are seven areas in total. And uh, you'll actually notice that this is, a, it looks to me like a 4.3 aspect ratio, but on the PS4, on the left-hand side, you actually have a little bit of an inventory, which I, I definitely missed going into the Sega Mega Drive version. Um, it would be really nice to kind of know how many grenades you've got. And it again, it took me a while. It was very simple kind of um, shoulder buttons to be able to roll and to throw grenades on the PS4. Obviously, we don't have shoulder buttons on the Sega Mega Drive controllers, so I was a little bit like, I was kind of trying to press the, the, the only other two buttons I could press on the controller to maybe roll which one of them was, and for some reason the other one wouldn't work as the grenade, so I was actually unsure how to throw the grenade. Maybe that's just user error on my part, but like I say, if you do get this and you choose to buy a physical copy on the Genesis or the Sega Mega Drive, do take some time to really master the controls. 
naturally dog tags are pivotal they act as your currency and um, you can kind of level up your armor your power you can get a gas mask and one of the devs actually came into my stream and said as a little tip when you complete that first level definitely choose to spend some points on power that gives you a little bit of an edge so that's exactly what I did I went for power and health but power was my primary and I don't think I would have completed it in the the, the live stream had I not have had infinite continues yes I'm a wimp yes I'm a cheater um, but it's maybe one that I'll kind of set myself a goal for 2020 to complete this on easy <laughs> with absolutely no cheats whatsoever So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. 2020 has been harsh for many reasons, but we have things like this within our gaming world to keep us entertained for months and years to come. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and I would love it if you guys could subscribe and possibly share the video. But for now, have a great one and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.